Hey, this is Amy Lee from Evanescence, and you're listening to ICRT FM 100. ICRT. Hello, listeners and viewers of ICRT. I am Joey. Yes, and this is another one of our reaching out segments where we reach out to a celebrity that is either halfway or all the way around the world. And today we have a great chance to talk to one of my personal idols, uh, my favorite musicians, and of course, our favorite musical act. Uh, we have the very awesomely talented Amy Lee from Evanescence. Hello, Amy. Hi, Joey. Thanks for having me on. No, thank you for connecting with us. Uh, from wherever you are, where are you right now? Um, I am home, <laughs> like everybody else in the world. I live in uh, Nashville. I've lived in New York for years, and we just moved to Nashville last year. Um, nice. So we're in our new place. Uh, been hunkered down for quite a while now. The days are kind of running together, um, but we're good. We're healthy. Uh, we have a lot to be grateful for, for sure. I know a lot of people are um, suffering a lot, but I'm here with my, my husband and my five-year-old son. We're all driving each other crazy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I mean, Jack is five now. Yeah. He's got to have a lot of energy. Uh, is it hard to keep him home? Yeah, it's definitely an energy difference between him and us. And it's just us. So he's just needing to run. I'm glad to be where we are. We have a, a big backyard yeah. now. So he can run and hunt for worms and whatever, but <laughs> the weather's been pretty bad. So um, we've been kind of indoors watching a lot of movies for sure. Um, going back to a lot of movies I loved when I was a kid and watching those with him. Well, been kind of you fun. know, you and I were around the same age and probably grew up watching a lot of the same stuff like, uh, I don't know, Bambi and Dumbo. And really though they were Disney productions, they were kind of dark, right? Uh, but they taught us important, uh, valuable life lessons um, that life is not always rainbows and unicorns. The Bitter Truth, if you will, which happens to be the title of the new upcoming album. Now, <laughs> is that maybe the theme of the album? <laughs> uh, it wasn't about the young age part, but but yeah, um, just about not living in denial. Um, there's There's a lot of lies in the world yeah. right now. Um, and I am definitely facing a moment where I just want truth. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes, oftentimes, it is more bitter uh, to know the truth, but so much better than, I don't know, being under someone else's control or not knowing what's going on or living in a bubble and not actually tasting life. Mm -hmm. I'd rather have the truth. Um, and it's also just about growing up, you know, um, going, all right. Somebody's got to be the grown up here. Let's do this. And then you can really experience what's going on around you. Right. But it does yep. take living through things, you know, yep. to get there. Yeah, I, I agree. Yeah. Um, I mean, you see the problem, you face it, and then you come to some sort of resolution, you know, like thesis, antithesis, synthesis, right? And by the way, speaking of synthesis. Nice transition. That was good. That was smooth. Yeah. <laughs> I love the synthesis project, by the way. And really, if you think about it, that's only a year and a half ago. Uh, is that energy still with you while you create now? That's so crazy. It So much has happened since then. Yeah. Weird when you say that. That was a really, really cool experience. We all learned a lot. And it was a challenge. It was something that when we started out on that tour in particular, um, with the live experience being such a such a live experience where so many different people were um, playing their instruments together in that one night only, you know, um, in a way that's so volatile yeah. uh, and so beautiful at the same time. Just just it's hard to explain what it was like, but it was really, really good for us. And it was scary at first. It was quiet. You know, we were sitting instead of rocking out and hiding behind strobe lights. Um, it was a lot of exposure and uh, as scary as that was at first, especially for the guys. Um, oh, why, why do you say that? What is they just the hate guys? sitting down. They're like, I have to sit here. I can't oh. rock out like everybody's <laughs> looking at me. It's quiet. This is the opposite of what we were trained yeah, to go yeah. for. Um, <laughs> it was beautiful. And we've done a bunch of touring since then that was uh, back up on our feet rocking again. Uh, mm -hmm. Which has been mm -hmm. the perfect precursor for us, like gearing towards new music. Um, yeah. So we just kind of wanted to start by getting to the roots of who we are now as a band, as a live band in particular. Um, 
grooving together, jamming together, obviously being familiar with, with the old music. And mm-hmm. even as we do our, our, our older songs live, we're always putting some kind of a new spin on it that makes yeah. it us now, like, right? even if it's in small nuances. Um, so taking all that stuff and then going, okay. And in between tours, starting the writing process started about a year ago. Um, it's sort okay. of forcing me to just like do what I got to do. So I'm in here hunkering, hunkering down, <laughs> getting in the studio, getting weird, you know. <laughs> well, I mean, as fans, we're kind of glad that you've been forced to stay home and create music for us to enjoy. Uh, of course, we understand it's hard work uh, to not be able to, you know, to, to do it without being able to out- go outdoors and look for inspirations or maybe to um, to have access to some of the resources that you did before. Uh, for example, I mean, the first single off this album, Wasted on You, uh, the music video is shot entirely uh, where you are right now. In our home. Right, right. And uh, I'm guessing your husband, yeah. Josh, has to man the camera uh, while, you know, you d- take some moving shots of you. Did he have a gimbal or something? Yeah, he did. He's the one who had it. Thank God. I'm the one who was always like, don't, don't we don't need any tech. I don't have anything. He's like, I have this thing. I bought it because I was playing with it and now you can use it. Um, yeah, he helped me a lot. He actually um, took that album cover photo too. I had the idea in my head. Yeah, I had the idea in my head and I was like, we need this now. So can you do it? And he's like, all right, let's do this. And we we're like sharpieing on mints and taking photos and pretending to be photographers <laughs> well hey i think you guys did fabulously uh, and by the way are you currently in the space where you create i'm music? in my studio right now i usually mm-hmm. write in here um i've got a lot of keyboards here i have a yep. pro tools yep. happening and all my toys when i was in high school they're up on the shelves and <laughs> rainbow bright makes an appearance <laughs> as well. anyway yeah I've, I've got everything that i need in here to to throw a scratch down mm-hmm. um i can't do everything the band can do obviously so um my role is usually coming up with like the basic like skeletons like the the lyrics like the the vocal melodies and the chord progressions and then from there it's like all right who's got an idea or sometimes it starts with a riff or a drum beat first beats are usually a good inspiration for me but i like to go through um just my synth libraries and 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 sample libraries and like listen for sounds and beat ideas and then just start singing over them sometimes and create something that's usually sounds much more electronic than it does in the end um (laughs) and then we turn it into a rock song together but sometimes Mm -hmm. some of those parts stay well there you go ladies and gents viewers and listeners of icrt you're now looking at the womb of evanescence new album the bitter truth uh but amy when is the new album going to come out this year we're just we're just gonna keep releasing one by ones for a little while um and the plan is to um drop like the back half of it by the end of the year and just be like okay here's the whole thing so i don't know exact date yet we kind of have to wait on what's going on but we're just going to keep releasing what we have and recording what we can and get it out okay well there you go fans evanescence (laughs) uh, new album the bitter truth is penciled in for the back half of 2020 and along the way we'll have a lot of new singles to enjoy uh it's been great to speak with you amy lee from evanescence thank Thank you. you thank you thanks for talking to me joey